In this tutorial, you will solve equations by distributing or combining. Let's get started. In order to solve the equations in this video tutorial, you will need to do the following four things. The first is to distribute if you have parentheses. In order to do that, you multiply the value touching the parentheses by every term inside the parentheses. You don't do any math before the parentheses or any math after the parentheses. The second is, if you have more than two terms on a side and they are alike, you are to combine those like terms as long as they are on the same side of the equal sign. The third and fourth steps are inverse operations like addition and subtraction to move the constants and multiplication or division to move the coefficients. The goal is to isolate the variable. Let's get started with our first example. Look and learn to see what happens here. The 2 is the term outside the parentheses, which is what I will be distributing. To distribute means to multiply. I will do it again to the term positive 8, but I will not multiply any further as the parentheses have ended. Rewrite the rest of the problem as is. Use your inverse operation here to clear the coefficient. Cross off your inverses. Rewrite the left side and perform the math operations on the right. Use your calculator if necessary. Now in order to isolate the variable x from its coefficient, we will divide both sides by 6, which is the same as multiplying by 1 sixth. And there's our answer. Let's take a look at another example just like that. This time we're going to distribute a negative value. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Now be careful here. Negative 2 times a minus 8, or a negative 8, is positive 16. The rest of the example stays the same. Use your inverse operations to subtract the constant from both sides. Then divide both sides by your coefficient. And that is how you distribute when solving an equation. Let's see if you're ready to try two on your own. I've included the examples I just worked out at the bottom of the screen here in case you need to refer back to them. Pause the video now. Alright, we're ready to check your answers. How did you do? Alright, let's move on to the second part of this tutorial. Combining like terms. So look and learn to see what I do here. Notice that I have circled the terms that are alike, meaning they both have variables. In this expression here, 3x plus 2x, notice that I also circled the operation or sign in front. That's very important. It tells you what to do with these two terms, 3x plus 2x. So that gives us 5x. The rest of the sentence will remain the same. And here we use our inverse operations just like before. Pause the video if you need to take a look at each of these um, steps that I've just performed. Let's try this again. This time my like terms are not variable terms. They're constant terms. Again, pay close attention to everything that I circle. Not only do I circle the two constants, but I circle the operation or sign in front. I'm going to combine a negative 5 with a negative 11. When I combine two negatives, I'm adding them together. The rest of the problem remains the same. Now you're going to use your inverse operations to isolate that variable. 
So I'm going to add 16 to both sides and divide by my coefficient. Okay, I think you're ready to try something a little bit harder. So in this problem, I actually have four terms on the left-hand side. So I'm going to circle my variable terms. Again, being very careful to circle the operation or sign in the front. And I'm going to put squares around my constant terms or rectangles here. And that shows that these two things are separated, um, are combined differently, right? Constants with constants, variable terms with variable terms. Now look at your sign, 6x minus 4x. And then look at your signs in the green constant boxes, 8 minus 12. So be careful when you're rewriting that you're using the right operations. And now I'm going to clear my constant. and divide by my coefficient. So how did you do? All right, I provided the three examples that I just finished at the bottom here. Try these last two on your own. Pause the video now. Okay. Let's try looking at a problem that uses both of these properties. So I'm going to distribute first, and that gives me 4x minus 12. The rest of the problem I'm going to rewrite, and now I'm going to do the second part, which is combining like terms. In this case, I'm going to combine the variable terms. Now I'm going to use my inverse operations. Being careful to watch my sign. All right, I think you're ready to try one on your own. Pause the video now. And give this a try. Okay, let's see how you did. So that's the tutorial on how to solve equations by distributing and or combining like terms.